Retirement's not for everyone. Some people just need to stay busy. They don't like playing golf, so they just start to mosey around looking for stuff to do. And that's where Barack Obama is right now. I guess the podcasts and the Netflix deals aren't really enough to occupy Barry's time. So the former president has to stay busy. He's been out on the campaign trail. He's been popping up on speaking tours and hitting the airwaves to lecture us about, you know, the lies. It's just this national story that is being told where we allow lies to be told mm -hmm. and we accept them. And so we enjoy the performative aspects of making stuff up. And, and part of that is because we don't think there are consequences to it. I guess Michelle's got a book out now, so Barack's feeling a little lonely at home and he needs to get out on the town and get a little attention. So he's doing a little PR blitz. It's always about him and his legacy and how Barry feels and how he's a virtuous truth teller crusading against lying bigots. I know, I know, we've been hearing this for years, but no one lied like the Obama administration. They just got away with it because calling Obama a liar is considered racist. If you like your doctor, you can keep your doctor. If you like your health care plan, you can keep your health care plan. That's a red line for us, and that there would be enormous consequences if we start seeing movement on the chemical weapons front. There is no spying on Americans. Uh, you know, we don't have a domestic spying program. <laughs> Obama lied and you lost your doctor. He lied and watched the genocide. And he lied about how much he spied. I mean, he lied about the IRS, Benghazi, Fast and Furious. He lied when he said Hillary was likable. And Joe Biden didn't learn much from being number two to Joe Barry, but his administration did learn one thing, that lying is the best strategy because the media lets you do it. The economists uh, that the president has been relying on suggest that there is a transitory nature, nature to the inflation. The president has said, and you have tweeted, that allegations of wrongdoing based on files pulled from Hunter Biden's laptop are Russian disinformation. That it's broadly known and widely known, Peter, that there was a broad range of Russian disinformation back in 2020. Secretary Mayorkas, do you continue to maintain that the border is secure? Yes, sir. <laughs> but this is what the Democrats do. They push you down and then they say you fell. The border's secure, inflation zero. The Republicans defunded the police. And I never, ever talked to my son about his overseas business deals. So Obama's legacy gave us Donald Trump, but then it gave us Joe Biden. So as Barack sits home alone while Michelle makes millions off her book that no one's read, the former president has started to figure out that no one really likes him as much as he thinks. So he has to tell himself, it's not his fault that people don't like him. It's Fox's fault. The biggest change that's taken place, when I ran for, let's say, U.S. Senate in Illinois, I could go to a diner or a VFW hall or a, a county fair. I could go to the local newspaper and the owner there is conservative, and he's got a bow tie and buzz cut. And he's kind of skeptical about my ideas. But there wasn't the filter that had been created by Fox News or the media infrastructure, the, the sort of right-wing conspiracy theory. I think the filter now has become so thick. It started, I think, with Fox News. So this is what happens in retirement? You start kind of going over in your head, like, what happened? Telling yourself, well, things could have been different if only this guy wasn't there or this guy wasn't there. You know, hearing a grown man talk about other people not liking him is kind of weird, especially when that man's the former president of the United States. I mean, some people liked him, obviously. And why is Obama so fixated on Fox News? And why does he have such thin skin? Ed Ryan is the founder of American Majority, and he joins me now. So what, what is going on? This seems like almost like he's sitting down on a shrink's couch, Ned. Well, it, that, that is absolutely true, Jesse. It's also a good reminder that he's an uh, arrogant, pretentious liar who's absolutely a small man who's very thin-skinned, that he can't take any criticism because he is the chosen one, the blessed one that came to bring salvation to this country, mm -hmm. and how dare you question his motives. I, of course, he was he was an amazing liar. Uh, you know, his his if you like your health care plan, you can keep your health care plan was actually the lie of the year, according to PolitiFact. 
And if I was actually to recite back to you all of his lies, we'd eat up the rest of the show. So I'm not going <laughs> to do that. But but the thing that's amazing about Obama is he's lecturing us about lies is he's representing a party that believes boys can become girls, that there's 73 <laughs> genders, right. uh, that crime is a social construct, that man-made global warming is real, uh, that vegetables can become senators. Actually, that <laughs> one's true. Stop. But where the left is right now is they want us to accept their insanity as truth and their opinions as dogmas. And when you actually have the temerity to question it, uh, say, where, what are the origins of, of COVID? They can't even stand those questions and want to censor it because, in fact, they're authoritarians and the narrative is all not facts, not truth. And so that's where we're, we're at right now. The dirty little peasants need to, to sit down and shut up and listen to their betters. And if you want any empirical evidence, not only about Obama's comments on Fox, but look at how the left has lost its mind when Elon Musk dared to suggest and is trying to turn Twitter into a free speech platform, which, oh, by the way, is just living out the First Amendment as, as our Bill of Rights actually states. But the left can't handle that. They can't handle that, and they can't handle Fox because we actually call them out on their lies. And Barack Obama thinks the world would be perfect and he would be loved by 100% of the country if it weren't for Fox News. I hate to break it to you, Barry. People didn't like you before Fox. They're not going to like you after. Thank you so much, Ned. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.